You guys, I cannot wait to show you this. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vivian. This is Vivian Vogue, where I post videos about bags, shoes, lots of luxury designer stuff, mostly Chanel. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe because I really, it means a lot to me and it really helps me out and gives me more sort of time to be able to make videos for you guys. And if you want to see more daily kind of content like this, then follow my Instagram and TikTok, which is Vivian Vogue. The links will be in the description bar below. I post to Instagram and TikTok a lot more frequently than YouTube just because it's a lot faster for me to make um, than sitting down and filming videos and editing and uploading them etc um but today i have the most exciting unboxing for you guys from the chanel media sale so let's get to it so first of all i'm gonna answer a couple of questions because i get so many people asking me like i didn't even know that chanel did a sale like how come they never talk about it how like when is the sale um i have made a previous video answering a lot of these questions which is this video here i will link that in the description bar below um and i also talk a lot of, about it a lot more on my instagram and tiktok so i advise that you follow me there just because i have already made videos answering questions like how do you know when there's a luxury designer sale like even if it's not chanel like if you didn't know almost every single brand like Givenchy. YSL Loewe, Celine, Balenciaga, like almost every big designer does a mid-year sale and an end-of-year sale. So if you want to know how to find out when those sales are happening and how to get invited to them and how much the discount is and what goes on sale, follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I make so many more videos there about this stuff. But today I'm going to show you what I picked up from the Chanel sale. I will say really quickly that I'm sorry if I can't divulge too many details about the Chanel sale. As you guys would know, Chanel is like notoriously the most secretive designer out there and that's why it's so highly sought after and why it sort of has that prestige like above other luxury brands like Balenciaga or Celine like the fact that you can't even buy Chanel online like you have to buy it in the store and they're not available in department stores like other brands are like you could only buy it at a Chanel store is all part of the reason and they obviously do not like when people make really detailed videos talking about like their sale or how to get invited and like what's included in the sale um so I will try and share bits and pieces but I don't want to get in trouble with Chanel or have my sales associate like get in, get in trouble on my behalf but in really quick summary Chanel do a sale in the middle of the year and the end of the year which is the same as any like fashion brand like even like Maya, David Jones like other luxury brands and even like non-luxury brands like they usually do sales mid-year season end of the year season um Chanel just had their mid-year sale in Australia and it always includes like really old stock like you'll never get new stock and it never includes bags is the first thing I'm gonna say because everyone's asking me like oh my god like do the bags go on sale like no it's impossible enough to get the bags that you want like if you follow me you would know like usually you have to wait list for a bag for ages and like it's hard to get the bag that you even want at full price so no the bags unfortunately don't go on sale the things that do go on sale are shoes clothing which is known as ready to wear um and costume jewelry never fine jewelry and never bags including small leather goods they never go on sale either um but that being said, the shoes, the ready to wear and the costume jewelry that goes on sale is discounted 40%, which is a very big discount for Chanel. Um, personally, in my opinion, like Chanel is so expensive that when you take that 40% off, you can save like thousands or like tens of thousands, depending on how much the ready to wear is. The stock that also makes it to sale is nothing new. Like it's all really old stock, not just from like last collection, but like three or four collections ago so usually it's stock from two or three years ago um, and that means that sizing is really scarce and stock is really scarce um, because obviously like it's been on sale like not on sale but like it's been in the store available to purchase for like two to three years so whatever does make it to sale is usually not the really good stuff like anything really good like really good ready to wear or like shoes from like the runway or really popular things that most people want obviously sell over the course of like two to three years while it's in store at full price so anything that usually makes it to the sale is like the stuff that nobody either wanted to buy full price which usually means that it's not like nice personally in my opinion but obviously if you like really love a pair of shoes or ready to wear that like weren't popular from a particular season then that means a lot of people might not have bought it full price and it'll make its way to sale um that being said even the things that do make it to sale do have really limited sizing so like even if there's a cardigan that you love they might only have like one size or they might have a couple of sizes but they might all be like really really big sizes or really really small sizes so i personally am so stoked like i'm so happy if you can tell with what i picked up from this year's mid-year season sale because it is one an item that i'm like 
obsessed with and that I literally nearly paid full price for. Two, it is bigger than my normal size, but it still fits me. I want to say perfectly, but it still fits me really, really well. And for the discount that I got it at, I thought it was a steal. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. If you have a really keen eye for detail, you would have seen that it's right behind me in this white bag, which means it is a ready to wear piece. These little white like bags slash boxes are from Chanel exclusively for ready to wear. Um, if you haven't seen like my other unboxing videos where I unbox like bags and like shoes um, and some other stuff, I guess like jewelry and stuff, the packaging is very different for bags and shoes. Like they come in different boxes, only ready to wear, which means like clothing comes in these beautiful like white box bags like this. Do you guys want to guess what I got? Um, here, I'll give you some quick clues first. It is one, it's pink. Um, anyone that follows me knows that I wear a lot of pink. Two, it is a runway piece. Um, three, it was like insanely popular and it was like one of the centerpieces of the runway, which was like, it was one of the pieces that like everyone was talking about. It featured heavily on the runway. It was photographed a lot. Um, Jenny from Blackpink wore it. Like everybody wanted to buy it as soon as it came out. So I cannot believe that I even got it for a discount. I was genuinely so surprised when I went to the sale and I saw this hanging there. I was like, I 100% need it. Um, without further ado, let me show you what I got. My God, my heart is like pumping so fast. I'm like getting sweaty because I'm just like so excited. Um, I cannot wait to show you guys. Comment down below if you want to take a guess at what I got. But let me show you. It's in here. Put this back here. So you guys can see a little on the side, it's pink. I already told you that. This is the Chanel sticker um, and the wrapping paper. All right, you ready? I'm gonna show you what it is in three, two, one. It is the gorgeous runway cardigan from SS21. So 2021 spring summer collection. This featured on the runway. I'll insert a photo here. When that runway collection came out, this was genuinely one of my favorite pieces. Like I was obsessed with it on the runway. And as soon as that collection hit the stores, I think like December, January, 2021 so like a year ago now um i tried it on it was f like full price and it was so gorgeous but i personally could not stomach the price i know a lot of you really want to know how much it is um so i can't remember exactly but i think the retail price was like six thousand dollars um and then i got it for 40 percent off that so you can do the maths um the only downside is that this is a size 44. So usually in Chanel sizing, I am a 36 or a 38. So this is quite obviously a few sizes bigger than what I normally wear, but because it's a cardigan and it's like slouchy and it's not like structured or like fitted, it actually looks okay. I'll insert like some photos and some videos from when I tried it on at the store and I'll put it on for you in a bit, but I actually think that it works fine. Like it doesn't look super big, um, even though it is like four sizes bigger than, it's like four I think usually after 36, 38, there's like 40, 42, 44. So it's like three to four sizes bigger than I usually wear. But because it's a cardigan, it works. I reckon if this was like a dress or like a skirt or even like a structured jacket, I wouldn't have been able to get away with such a big size. But because it's a cardigan that like fits to your body and is like meant to be slouchy and stuff, like it works. I'll show you what I mean. Um, my favorite detail about this jacket is the buttons. Look at that. So these are one of my favorite buttons that Chanel has done in recent years. They are the number five in this like glass crystal um, sort of like material with like gold lettering. Hopefully that comes up in detail. Um, and it just has that all the way down the middle of the cardigan and on the breast um, pockets as well. And obviously when you buy everything from sale, it comes like brand new with tags. Um, so I also got this is the tag here and it came with two spare buttons as well in here. So there's two spare buttons in case I lose one or one comes off or gets damaged, you can replace them and they give you some yarn. I know you can see the blue one there. Don't think you can see behind the blue, there's also a pink one, which is basically the material here. So if there's like a hole or um, something gets like snagged, like you can take it to a seamstress and you can take it to Chanel and I'm pretty sure that they do repairs in-house um, and they take this stuff, you can see the pink there, um, and they take this and use the original fabric of the piece i guess to repair it so that you don't get like mismatching using like different materials to repair it that are different to the actual fabric itself if that makes sense um let me show you guys what this looks like okay. 
So what I love about this is that it's so, oh my god, okay, first of all, it's 100% cashmere, so you can imagine how soft this is, um, and I love that it's very versatile. This is what it looks like when it's completely unbuttoned, super cute, very like, oh, I love it. Um, I love that you can wear it just like buttoned up at the top and like open all the way around. I think that that is really cute. So this is what the 44 looks like. Like I said, it is really big on me, but, but you can't like tell. Like usually I wear 36, 38. This is a 44, but it looks okay. Um, even when you button it all the way up. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this piece. It makes me feel so beautiful. This is what it looks like. So the only thing is that the length of the sleeve is a little bit long. Like ideally it would be like here at my wrist. Um, but it's more like here, but it also doesn't come like all the way down here. Like this would be annoying. I feel like I can deal with it being here, but ideally it would be here. Um, but I can obviously pull that up a bit. It just falls down a little bit. That's, I guess, the biggest part that you can tell it's not my size. Like if it was my size, it would sit perfectly at my wrist and not come down lower. But for 40% off, I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, and the actual fit of it is okay. Like it doesn't look too wide from the side, the back fits pretty well um yeah and like i said from the front it doesn't look really wide like my shoulder i don't know if you can see so here the shoulder drops here my actual shoulder starts to drop maybe like here so it's a couple inches long but again because it's a cardigan and it's like slouchy and it's not super structured it works so personally i don't think i see anything wrong with the fit of this 44 um i guess you can put in the comments if you think that it looks like it fits ridiculously but i personally really love it um oh my god i'm obsessed with it <laughs> also love that if you wear like a cute like top underneath you can just undo some of the top buttons and like some of the bottom buttons i've seen a lot of people wear it like this on instagram which i think is cute it can do kind of like a like this like style it so you can kind of see like the top and like the bottom of your top but still have like the middle buttons done up there are so many reasons i love this cardigan one like the color you guys know i love pink i also love navy and the navy trim two the navy trim makes it so reminiscent of chanel's like iconic jackets and cardigans from the 90s i'm gonna insert some photos here but these are cardigans and jackets from the 90s that chanel is like so famous for and like when you see these pieces like it just like screams chanel even without having like the chanel logo on it without being able to see like the detail of the buttons you can just tell that it's chanel because that's such the chanel quintessential style and i think that this is very very reminiscent of that by having like the trim and like the color blocking so I love that I feel like this cardigan is extremely Chanel like you can tell it's Chanel anyone that like follows the Chanel house and has followed season after season the collections and like knows what the style is would know that this is Chanel um the fact that it was a runway piece I love um and like I said like the gorgeous number five buttons are so pretty let me know what you guys think that I do good at the sale this year I personally think that this is like the best sale find ever like honestly when I walked into the store and I saw the sale wax I was not expecting to see this and the second I saw this my heart was like beating so fast I was like I have to have it and then I saw that it was a 44 and I freaked out a little bit like oh no like I am a 36 38 like 44 is quite a bit bigger like it might not fit but I wanted to try it on just in case and I'm so glad that I did because I honestly think that this works totally fine and this is my mid-year Chanel sale find Thank you so much for watching this video. I am going to post a lot more outfits with this cardigan. I think it works really well, like over dresses, over jeans, trousers, skirts. I think you can dress it up. Like when you do it up like this, it looks very formal. But I also think when you like completely undo it and just wear it as an open cardigan, it can be like very relaxing, casual. So I think that this is going to work for like formal occasions, like weddings, weekends, brunches. I'm definitely going to take it traveling with me overseas. So you'll see lots of photos of it. Um, like even this, I feel like is a very cute just like casual weekend outfit like blue classic denim jeans black tank top with this over the top like just looks very casual but like very like cute and like refined thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you picked up a thing or two about chanel sale and learned something that you might not have known before um comment below any questions and i'll try my best to get back to them um follow me on instagram and tiktok because i post a lot more like unboxings and videos and style videos and like you'll see this cardigan in action in outfits a lot more on my instagram my tiktok than my youtube um and i've also on my tiktok i think done like a really big q a video about designer sales and like when they are how to get invited like how to find out when it's happening so go watch that video if you want to find out more 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I will be back with some more soon.